Welcome to today's part of this SPSS methodology. This time with a unit on the kruskal weyler age test. The kruskal weyler age test is an extension of the man whitney u test, meaning while well, with the man whitney u test we have two independent samples based on ordinal data. Here in this case we have up to well, an infinite number, but two or more, in general speaking terms, independent samples, which we compare, which we compare at the same time. And well, we run it similarly to the man whitney u test, so we go to analyze, non-parametric tests, and could either go here with independent samples, or with the legacy dialogues here as k independent samples. We start with the older version with the legacy dialog. We see the default here is the Kruskal Weyler test. So we just select in this case our classified BMI as a testing variable. And for example, the city, which has three different possibilities Cologne, Dusseldorf, and Wuppertal as the grouping variable. Before we actually can run this test, we first need to tell him the range, so starting at city 1 up to city 3, continue and OK. Then this is my test result, the test score and the significance level. And this significance level means, as this is clearly larger than 5%, that we cannot reject the H0 hypothesis, which in this case would have been the distribution of the classified BMI is the same over all the different cities. So here in this case, as we retain it, we can say there is no significant difference between those three different cities. Okay, this is what it looks like if we perform the test the old-fashioned way. In the newer dialogues, we go to analyze non-parametric tests, independent samples, then with fields. Here in the test fields we put what we are actually going to analyze, so the classified BMI. And down here with the groups we put the variable, our grouping variable, the cities. Finally we could go to settings. Either if we click run he would automatically select the most fitting test or we go to customize tests and then we take a look here we can select the kruskal weyler test for K samples. Click on Run. And in this case, he reports the exact same significance level as in the old version, comes to the same conclusion, retain the null hypothesis, and the null hypothesis is here in this case the distribution of BMI classified is the same across the categories of city. So the same results I argued for the results up here. Well, this then already concludes this short session on the kruskal weyler test. I hope you enjoyed listening to it and if you are interested in more of this type of videos feel free to visit the rest of this SPSS methodology. Until then, see you and goodbye.